In this video, we will demonstrate how to replace the roller top belt driver roller on the ModSword transfer and divert station. These instructions are also found in the installation and maintenance guide of the ModSort engineering manual. Tools required for this job include a flathead screwdriver, push pin, 7 16th wrench or socket, 5 30 seconds Allen wrench, 10 millimeter wrench, inch pound torque wrench. Before conducting any maintenance on the mod sort, remember to use all your PPE and follow lockout tag out procedures. Step 1. Begin by removing top plates on each side of the unit. If side guides or spacers are present, remove as well. Step 2. Unlatch and remove the orange clips from both sides of the belt. If needed, raise the roller top belt up to gain access to the clips. Be careful if using a screwdriver to pry up the roller top belt. The belt may be damaged if the screwdriver slips. Step 3. The following procedure is performed by two people. Choose the easiest direction from which to push the belt retaining pin. Push the pin a short distance from one direction. Push the pin out so it can be pulled out from the other side. Step 4. Reinsert the pin into the free link side of the roller top belt, where the clamshell and spheres need to be retained. If the pin is not reinserted, the spheres and clamshells can fall out as the roller top belt is removed from the transfer. Step 5. Place each end of the roller top belt on the conveyors in line so the divert sub assembly can be worked on. Step 6. Trace the motor cable from the roller top belt drive roller to the control card and disconnect the motor cable connector. Step 7. Remove cable ties if present. Step 8. Remove the axle lock attachment bolts. Step 9. Remove the axle lock. Use a flathead screwdriver to gently pry off the axle lock weight and the axle lock plate. Step 10. Carefully thread the axle lock plate along the motor cable. Step 11. Notice. During the following procedure, handle the wires very carefully. Do not bend the wires into severe angles, such as folding and creasing a wire back upon itself. Failure to follow this instruction may result in broken wires which will need to be replaced. Step 12. Carefully bend the wires along the edge of the connector and slide the connector through the hole in the axle lock plate. Step 13. At the other end of the roller top drive roller, use a flathead screwdriver to push in the spring-loaded hex axle and remove the roller from the frame. Step 14. Place new roller top drive roller spring-loaded side into hex axle. Step 16. Carefully bend the wires along the edge of the connector and slide the connector through the hole in the axle lock plate. Step 17. Carefully thread the axle lock plate along the motor cable. Step 18. Place axle lock weight and plate into position. Step 19. Tighten the axle lock attachment bolts to 80 inch pounds. Step 20. Connect wires to cable ties if present. Step 21. Place new motor cable connector to the motor control card. Step 22. Bring both sides of the belt together. Step 23. Unlatch the orange clips on the side of the belt that contains the pin. Step 24. Pull the pin out of the belt. Step 25. The following procedure is performed by two people. Push the belt links together and apply compression where the pin will start to be inserted into the belt. Push the pin into the belt. Step 26. Latch the orange clips. Step 27. Install top plates. For more information, please visit www.modsort.com.